Hi folks, Antar here and I'm back with the new black and white battle. My opponent today is Aura Guardian 93 We actually had two battles. One was this black and white battle and the other battle was actually a PBR battle. Um, what's even more interesting is that here he's quite obviously using a Sun team and in our PBR battle I used a Sandstorm team. Um, both were OU standard matches, although 4th gen versus 5th gen. Anyway, uh, obviously he's going to lead off with his Nine Tails as I lead off with my El Caban, and then I realized, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? He has a Venusaur on his team. I don't want El Caban out here. I don't want to set up Toxic Spikes that he's just going to get rid of. So um, I luckily realized my mistake in time and pull out El Caban um, and go ahead and send out Ringo, um, my Jellicent. Now I'm hoping that because Jellicent is amazingly bulky, it can take this overheat even though it's in the sun. Um, so I'm really fearing how much it does, and I'm like, yes, it does less than half. It doesn't matter anyway since he got the defense, uh, the attack drops, um, and so that's really, really awesome for me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and recover on the switch, not knowing what he's going to send out. Um, he sends out his Venusaur as I go for the recover, as I said. Um, really, I guess I could have predicted that and gone for an Ice Beam. Um, and that might have been nice, but oh well. Um, I'm back up to full HP, and that's really great. Um, I'm going to obviously go ahead and call back Ringo, because he's obviously going to use um, a Grass-type move. And I go ahead and send out Pazuzu, my Zapdos, which I know will be able to take the Grass hit. Um, unfortunately, he predicts my switch and goes for a substitute. Um, oh well, it, that's how it goes. Um, so yeah... Um, cover with black slug, blah blah blah. And here I make a stupid play. Oh no, he goes for the hidden power um, ice, and uh, it's going to do a really big chunk to me, um, almost half. Um, and I make a stupid play here. I go for the hidden power. Um, I think partially that was a misclick, and partially I forgot that it was hidden power grass. But that was just really stupid, and just ignore that. Oh, I just felt so stupid um, when I did that. Just a complete misclick slash misplay on my part. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. He's going to go ahead and hidden power again as I go for the heat wave, which I'm hoping, well, in the sun, it's obviously going to break his um, substitute. I really wish I'd been able to, you know, do more. But anyway, I'm I'm counting down the HP and I'm like, what? what the? He got a crit, and I'm like, oh no, are you serious? I lost my Zapdos to a misclick. Ah, so this battle is not going well for me at all. Um, anyway, I go ahead and send out Uchikoma, um, and I decide that I don't think I'm going to go for the agility, because if he's running timid, um, I'm, he will outspeed me even after agility, thanks to Venusaur's Dream World ability, uh, which is Chlorophyll, which doubles its speed, and I'm pretty sure Venusaur is base 80 speed. Uh, anyway, um, get a Solar Beam to the face, doesn't really do too much, um, it pops my air balloon though, but I don't really see the need for it at this turn. Uh, this battle. Maybe I should get rid of Air Balloon, but I don't know. I really like having um, Uchikoma around to counter um, Exadrill. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I break his sub with the Ice Punch, obviously, and he's going to go ahead and call back um, and send out Infernape. I predict the switch here, and I decide to go for the agility, um, and that's just really great for me because, I mean, Infernape does carry priority moves a lot of the time, but I. You know, I'm going to... it's not going to hit me super effectively. Anyway, I go first, go for the Earthquake. I'm a little bit fearing that he might be sashed, but almost all Infernapes this generation are banded, so um, I easily uh, KO that Infernape, uh, and no problem there. Uh, he's going to go ahead and send out his Ninetales now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake again, um, just to try to take out that Ninetales. I, if I had... Uh, some kind of weather user on this team, it would be really nice to get rid of the sun. Um, but then again, I can also take it, I'm also going to use it to my advantage in a bit, so meh, it's it's a mixed bag. And when he goes ahead and sends out his Scrafty here, I go for the Meteor Mash, um, thinking that it's going to you know do the most amount of damage, and I'm also hoping for the Attack Raise, uh, and indeed it does a little bit more than half. He's going to go for the Drain Punch here to recover his health back up. Um, and, yeah, so I'm at about 50% health, but his Drain Punch really isn't doing much to me. Um, and he's got leftovers and the Drain Punch recovery, so I know that this Meteor Mash is not going to kill him. Um, but, you know, a man can hope. And I can also hope for the um, Attack Raise, but unfortunately I don't get it. He goes for the Drain Punch again, um, gets me down to 83 HP, um, as he's about the same uh, percentage level. 
Uh, and here I go for a bad play. I was really grateful that neither of my um, meteor matches had missed, so I decided to go for the earthquake, thinking, um, you know, I didn't really didn't want to tempt fate, but he survived that with like 2 HP, and I'm like, are you serious? No! Uh, luckily, Uchikoma survives with 14 HP. Um, that would have been so sad and so bad. Um, anyway, yeah, it gets a little bit of recovery there, um, and I go for the Earthquake, and I'm pretty sure this is going to take him out. If it doesn't, it's kind of a sad thing. Yeah, no, it takes him out, uh, so we're good there, but I just, that's, that's just a really bad play on my part. Um, should have just got, uh, risked it and gone for the, um, the, the, the Meteor Mash. Anyway, go for the Ice Punch here. I'm very, very happy to see that I'm faster. It probably means that he's modest instead of timid. Um, anyway, he's gonna go for the Solar Beam, absorb the sunlight, blah, 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 and obviously that's going to take me out. Uh, I mean, I am only down to 12 HP. Um, and so that's, that's it for my Uchikoma. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, good things. <laughs> anyway, he gets a little bit of leftovers recovery, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and send out Leela, my Darmanitan, which is going to enjoy the sun. Um, now he makes a mistake here. He withdraws his Venusaur. I don't. Maybe it wasn't a mistake. Um, I think it kind of was because uh, he would have gone first, and there's a good chance he could have KO'd me. Uh, Darmanitan has awful defenses, even though uh, it looks like I resist all three of his attacks. Um, there's a good chance I could have, uh, he could have KO'd me. Anyway, I take out his Flygon with a, um, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Sun Boosted Flare Blitz, oh, and Stab Boosted. So yeah, uh, no wonder that was a one-hit KO, even though it was resisted. Um, and now Leela is going to sweep through his team, enjoying the sun, I'm gonna take out his Leafeon, uh, and that is really, really awesome for me. Um, and I'm starting to turn this battle around, and I'm hoping that I can win it after some really, really bad plays, and losing, you know, two of my best Pokemon on this team. Um, Leela is now down to 139 HP, and he goes ahead and sends out Venusaur. Um, Venusaur is going to go for the Solar Beam, which is going to be resisted, but, uh, it is Stab, and again, he is faster, and so I'm pretty sure this takes me out, um, partially because I'm down to 139 HP. Um, but anyway, that is it for my uh, Darmanitan, um, which is a little bit sad, uh, but it is what it is. Um, and now i got to figure out how to take out this Venusaur. This is his last Pokemon, after all. So anyway, I go ahead and send out El Kabong again, and, and so he uh, thought I was going to go for the Sleep Powder. Um, you know, he thought obvious Sleep Powder is obvious, but aha, I wasn't going for the obvious Sleep Powder. I was going for the not-so-obvious Hidden Power of Fire, boosted by the sun easily going to take out his sub, and he's down to such low HP that I'm pretty sure, um, you know, I mean, I know I can win this at this point. Um, however, he is going to go for the synthesis, and uh, that's going to restore him, I believe, to full HP. Uh, so now we're into a bit of a little stall war, not exactly stall war, um, you know, he can keep on synthesizing uh, as I keep on going for the hidden power, um, and the turn that he attacks, I win, basically. Um, it looks like he's not carrying the Sleep Powder, which is excellent for me. Had he been carrying the Sleep Powder, I would have lost this game. Um, I really actually should have sent out someone... If I had predicted the Sleep Powder, I should have sent out someone to take it and, you know, just sleep fodder and, and whatnot. Um, but anyway, he decides to attack here, realizing that the, it's fairly hopeless, and if I get a crit at any point, it's over anyway. Um, I am... Uh, I do have a Sash, so it's not like he could have o o code me in any scenario. Um, but that's really awesome that it survived with 103 HP, so I take out his Venusaur to win the match, and good game, Aura Guardian 93. Um, I really actually love that battle. Um, really kind of awesome. Um, and it was fun to play in the sun. I think it's the first time I've actually played in the sun. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.